So Warzone Mobile is hosting another big event in 10 days time, but will we see any sign of the next beta? What's going on guys? My name is Roast and welcome back to another Warzone Mobile video. Now I'm going to be switching up between some Apex and some Warzone because I know a lot of you and my community, including myself, are so excited for this game. Now yesterday, a lot of big creators posted on Twitter some care packages that Warzone Mobile officially sent them right here. This is from the creator JHC Gaming who posted four images and in number one, it shows a Call of Duty Mobile package which has the name Global Summit on it and the dates November 13th and 14th in London, UK. The next image looks kind of like a book with the London Big Ben clock and the bridge but in fact it's actually a safe which has the word classified on it and I found another image which looks like it might be some sort of wallet or some sort of book inside. Now not only JHC but a lot of other creators will be attending this new Global Summit. I'm not guys, I haven't been invited but I might crash it anyway you know what i'm saying but i can imagine the global summit will be similar to the previous one that happened in america which was for the release of modern warfare 2 where every popular call of duty creator and streamer from around the world got to try out modern warfare and warzone mobile alpha early so this new event that's happening in london this month is actually for warzone mobile purely itself so i don't think it's going to be as big of a scale as the one we saw in america but it will definitely be getting way more info on the game and rumor has it that we could be getting our first ever beta date as well. Now I say beta date because on October 31st the Warzone Mobile Alpha ended with a notice in game that said application version is outdated please update the application from the App Store. Now this means that you can only update it from the iOS or Google Play Store when the next phase happens or when the devs update the alpha. This is what happened with Apex Mobile in their closed betas. We only literally had two or three weeks after the alpha till the beta came out. Now another image which shows why the beta could be next is this this one multiplayer mode in warzone mobile yes we're all freaking super surprised that they're adding multiplayer i mean they kind of have to you know apex mobile did it they added little extra multiplayer team deathmatch and stuff like that so warzone mobile is going to have six versus six team deathmatch and domination mode in the game too so it's not just going to be a standard battle royale now they removed this notice really quickly on the alpha so it looks like they pull it out by mistake but if you check the dates it shows the 31st of october to the 28th of november this month now what i think it means is this this alpha will continue as a closed alpha between these times so the creators and everyone that's going to the event on the 14th the global summit can test out the last bit of the updated closed alpha which includes these new multiplayer modes like team deathmatch and domination and then that will give the devs enough time to fix any problems if there are any in multiplayer ready for the beta now people are saying that the game's ready for soft launch i don't think this is the case the alpha is obviously still in testing according to these dates and a soft launch is pretty much an almost polished version version of the game ready for global. So I think we could possibly be getting a closed beta or an open beta during this big global summit event, which will likely come sometime in December once the alpha officially finishes on the 28th of November. So in short, the global summit is happening on the 13th to 14th. Creators are probably going to be able to test multiplayer in a closed alpha, and they could be dropping the actual closed or open beta date on that global summit event as well regardless guys it's a huge win for warzone doing big events to test the game out but real quick hit a like and comment down below what you think and if you are ready to grind the hell out of warzone mobile when it drops okay guys so this is some official uh, alpha gameplay of the game um this is pretty much the, the most polished version of the alpha at the moment. This is the one that actually ended on the 31st of October. So this is before that ended. Um, nice little finisher right there. As you can see, guys, they've literally upgraded the textures and the game hugely since we first saw the alpha. Like the first alpha from the last event in America just looked very dodgy. It looked very basic, very low textures. But it looks like this may be running at probably around 45 fps um this is obviously currently in development it's not representative of the final quality obviously um but here's the sort of drop um the plane dropping uh, dropping out of and this is blitz royale they actually added this game mode in the alpha um which looks sick i, I really like it so as you can see it's yeah i'd, I'd say it's probably 30 fps actually it's, it's it's pretty low but man the textures are just they look good. Uh, come on, guys. I mean, for an alpha, for a very low device, they're probably testing this on very low-end devices to see how they run because we obviously know the game needs to come out optimized. If it doesn't come out really optimized and has a sort of similar global launch to what Apex did, then it could be bad news. But this is Hospital um, flying in on the rooftop now. He's got some enemies around him. And, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, just from the buildings and the colours and stuff, I don't think they look too bad. It does look a bit grey and, and horrible, and this dude just missed the roof. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's got the... Right, I don't know what uh, pistol that is. It just says burst on it, so I think that's single or burst. I can't remember which pistol that is. Uh, we'll go for a P2020. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see there's an f tac recon. He's got an enemy on him. He's getting melee'd out right now. Gets his first melee. Melee, melee. And uh, here's a finisher right now from him. So that operator... Oh, I can't remember what it was called. It was, it's an operator, obviously, from Warzone. Um, there's going to be multiple operators as well, which is going to be good, but he just threw a grenade out, and I think he just died. Yeah, he literally just died. So this is the kill cam, and our first look at the uh, the sort of, well, our first look, you guys have probably seen this already, but here's the gulag as well. You're going to have all the scene cut scenes from Verdansk as well, the map is Verdansk, and... Let's have a look at what the Gulag looks like right now with these uh, with these high graphics. So, yeah, Gulag looks good. I mean, it looks like... Yeah, you can you can see what they've done with the textures. You can tell it's going to be... you got to think about this, guys, okay? In order to optimize this game, it's going to be quite tough because Verdansk is a huge map. Just look at it. Absolutely huge map. There's so many areas, TV station, stadium... Every building has got loads of assets inside of it, and each asset has certain amount of textures added to them. So the more assets and the more textures that they add into Warzone, the more it's gonna it, the more it's gonna make it more tough to actually run the game on those low-end devices. So you can see the textures here. I don't know again what sort of graphic options they've got on. It's probably on the lowest graphic options. It looks like one of the lowest anyway. So for like a high-end device, it's going to look way better than what it does now. Um, yeah, it's just landed near Superstore. Uh, it's got a sniper there. It doesn't really show the names of the snipers. I can imagine the HUD will get updated as well. There's a lack money he's just picked up. Um, you can see grenades down there, bottom right. You can see... Is this a shotgun? No, no this is the SM. This is the one of the ARs. Okay, good hit markers as well. Time to kill is pretty much exactly the same as Warzone. I don't like how they've got like big writing on the screen when you kill someone. That kind of imagine if you kill someone and then you kind of have to aim in that direction. It's not going to look good. Uh, you can see little HUD buttons on the left hand side. Money down bottom left as well. Obviously three plates bottom right. Joysticks in a really weird position. I don't know if this guy's just pull it in that position or not. Well, they see a nice sniper kill right here. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's sort of just running around, having a look. And yeah, there's there's care package right there. He's going to pick up. Do you get your loadout from it? We do. You can get your... Yeah, so you can see all of the custom loadouts you can do. I think you can have 10 loadouts, from what I can remember, of Warzone. And stun grenades. And yeah. Oh, he's got an LMG right now. Oh, no, he's actually got... I think that's kind of like an SKS. Ooh, nice little SKS kill. So that's a single fire sort of sniper, I'd say. Or a battle, ri a, a, a battle rifle. Goes and hits them right now. Yeah, you can see the, the delay on actually killing someone is quite laggy. So they'll probably increase that. Again, this is a beta. Oh, I love that finisher, man. That is nasty. <laughs> yeah, the finishers are going to be so good on here. There's so many different finishes you can do on the different operators as well. So... Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're going to be uh, unlocking everything, if you're going to be grinding every camo, grinding every freaking operator as well. I friggin' am. Ooh, there's some shots going on the Superstore. You see someone in front. Ooh. Aim assist actually doesn't look that strong. I don't know if it's just because of his aim or not. I think he's trying to hit with the SKS sniper right there. I can't remember what that sniper was called. Oh, he's getting shot from behind. Hit markers as well. Ooh, nice little dolphin dive as well. Moving in. So, yeah, you can see in the buildings, guys. Look, there's there's going to be a lot of textures of stuff in the buildings. Now, if the devs have played it smart, they won't make it exactly like Warzone. They'll make it so there's less textures in buildings to make it run a bit smoother. Because um, you can see even just little sort of bollards like that and the little boxes as well. They look bad. This guy literally just spawned behind him. Obviously a bot. Uh, time to kill on that. Pretty high. I don't think that bot had any plates, so... He's got the sniper out right now. Yeah, to be, to be fair, there's not too much aim assist. And he, he's obviously playing on the phone as well, so there's not too much aim assist, which is kind of exciting because, you know, these games come out like Apex and stuff that come with a ton of aim assist and it just doesn't... There's no skill gap, you know? 
Just a little read up right there. Bot running up on him. Oh, dolphin dive on him as well. I like that. I respect that. Is he going to use another finisher? Oh, he doesn't. He gets killed anyway. So as you, get, as you can see there, guys, the writing is like way too big. Oh, okay. That aim assist was pretty strong. Go on, get on the uh, get on the quad bike, bro. Get on the quad bike. Have a little drive around. Go on, do it. Let's go. So there's a look at quad bike. Smooth. I mean, even the textures look right in the distance of the map right there. The textures are actually loading in really quickly. Like, the textures up close are obviously loading in, like, the grass and stuff. But further away, you can still see all the buildings and stuff, which is, which is cool. Because usually for low graphics, again, the textures take a while to actually render in. Yeah, he's in a... How many players left? He's top, top three, so he's got two players left. Trying to pick up the cluster strike. Go on, use the cluster strike. Let's see what it looks like. Nice. Oh, nice laser on that as well. Nice. That looks good. All right, he's gone for the shotgun this time. I think he's trying to find the last few bots. Maybe they haven't loaded in. Oh, no, he sees one. Shotgun that range. New meta. Is it a meta? Nah, it's not even a meta. All right, he's got one. There's one dead. Last one. Last little bot. And there it is. So there's the win. Team wiped. And uh, that's it. Warzone victory. Evacuation helicopter deploying. We'll check that out real quick. Here it comes. And then... Proximity chat, guys. You know that when you win a game, you get to literally rinse everyone. Everyone stays until after the screen, and you just rinse everyone in the chat. So, proximity chat is in the game, so it's going to be fun just, you know, trolling everyone after the game and calling them ass and dog shit. But I love it, man. I think it's sick. Looks good so far. And this is our last glimpse. So, again, guys, we're probably going to have another glimpse in about 10 days' time of the new version of the alpha and multiplayer mode to so see what that looks like as well. But... Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit a like and sub, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.